Hi, uh, it's Julie. I'm wanting as many people to vote for Skype room group chat moderation ideas as possible so that we can get control of our group chats on Skype again like we used to. Now that they're on the cloud and we have no other choice, I sure would appreciate your help. So can you help out with these votes? Uh, you just uh, click the green. Well, I'll show you in a minute. But one of the things I want to say is when I'm sending you this, if you have never been to the Skype community, it's Skype's forum. You will, you may have to register, which basically means pick a community name. It's just one field, community name. And if you have registered before, you can log in using your Skype login at the Skype community. So I know, red flag, login, it, Skype online. But if the URL is community.skype.com, you're okay. Okay, just make sure there's nothing else there <laughs> in front. Community.skype.com. Um, you, if you have registered in the past um, by giving a username, that's all you have to do. You don't want to give your Skype ID with that. Use something else. You can remain anonymous when you register. But if you have registered, you will have to log in using your Skype login at the Skype community. Then go click this big link that I'm giving you. Now let's go take a look at... Okay, so we're going to the Skype community. And again, I'm clicking the link. I'm looking at the URL. That's a big Skype safety thing. Look at URLs. First of all, it's an HTTPS for secure, community.skype.com. This is a real Skype site. Okay, and uh, it's the Skype Idea Exchange, and uh, this is the name of my idea. This is the subject group moderation. We go up to the top, group moderation um, set guidelines. Okay, so we lost guidelines when all Skype rooms were converted to the cloud, to cloud rooms or new cloud, for years now, new Skype rooms have been unmoderated cloud rooms. And we want to get moderation features back in cloud rooms because now our legacy P2P moderated rooms are all being converted to cloud rooms. So the only thing we can do is ask Skype to please give us the moderation features we lost in the new Skype rooms, which is cloud rooms. Now this is just one, I had to list each of many important moderation features separately. I had to list them separately. So this is only one. We lost guidelines. You can't put guidelines in in uh, new Skype rooms, cloud-based rooms. So first of all, let me tell you that uh, there are some benefits to all rooms being cloud rooms. There's two benefits. One of the benefits is, um, let's see if I say this here, two of the benefits of the cloud rooms is apparently unlimited members. It's not limited to 300. We've seen 500. I've heard 1,000, so we're not really sure what the new limit is. That's good. Another good thing is you can see it on web.skype. So you can log into Skype at web.skype online in a browser and see all your chats there, your private chats and your group chats. Well, you, can, you can't see the legacy rooms in there, but you can see the cloud-based rooms. So that's nice. That's very, very nice that we can log in online no matter what computer we are on. We may have a little bit slightly different logging into Web Skype, but anyways, that's a good thing. We can see cloud-based rooms and the size. So those are two things. We just want the moderation back. And this Skype Idea Board um, at the community, Skype Idea Exchange, you can actually list ideas that if you get enough votes, Skype will implement. Well, all the features that we lost in our legacy P2P rooms uh, that we don't have in cloud rooms, I had to list each of those features separately. So, and only, and because you need to vote one at a time. So, what it was suggested that in the first comment, um, I list the other things that I want people to vote on. So, I can go to a different Skype idea and show you that. Hold on just a second. I want to show you how easy it is to vote. We need lots of votes on each of these ideas for Skype room moderation. If you see uh, something, I missed something important and you want to post an idea, you can do it here. What I just did when I paused the video was I simply clicked, I clicked uh, 
this right here, Skype, Skype Idea Exchange, seems to pop down to the bottom. You've got to scroll back up. Okay, Skype Idea Exchange, and it went to uh, here. So that's where you can list new ideas. Okay, um, you can uh, label it what kind of operating system. So I've been labeling these Windows, Mac, and Web. Um, I literally I could list all of them except maybe emoticons. I want these moderation features on everything, but I'm not going to ask them to do it on Androids and I, you know, I'm just going to ask them to do it on Windows because that's what I'm used to. And I have Mac friends, and we we want if it's possible to work on the web to moderate. It'd be, it would be great, Web Skype. So let me find. You see. Um, some of mine are actually listed. The one we were just look, listed was right at the top. It's got three votes. I don't know if you can see these are green thumbs. There's another one I listed. And luckily the status went to new right away on all of these. And this one, the status, uh, it got enough votes and comments that this one, users or listeners, turns the chatting off and on by, I, for, by admin. So you could turn a whole Skype room off and on. Anyways, the status got upgraded to active from new. See this one's status new. It's yellow. This one's so we want them to all become active. Then we want them all to become implemented status. So we need more votes. This one only has three. This one has eleven votes. This has eleven. Looks like another one of my group moderation joiners become listeners. Uh, new members are read only and cannot chat. So sometimes you just want an announcement room and you don't want everyone to be able to chat. You just want admin to be able to post announcements in there. That's got 11 votes, so hopefully that one be, will be updated to the blue active status like this. Okay, so uh, the next one, the top ideas listed on the idea exchange. Um, so I need, you know, I need uh, all of you. These should stay up at the top. We need more votes. Group moderation, only admin can add new members to the group. That means joiners become applicants is the command that we used to have uh, in Skype rooms. We need those back, all of these back. This is one it, I have not voted on, so it's not grayed out. So I want you to see uh, what it looks like. Okay, That's the green thumb where you vote. And if you mouse over, it says click here to give kudos to this post. So let's see. Um, one of the things I want you to know, <laughs> you can still search chat history. Anyway, I'll go over to that one. I'll click on it. And I want to show you what it's like to, to vote on a post. Oh, this is really brief. Um, I really miss being able to search the chat history. P please add <laughs> this feature. Well, actually, truth be told, you can still search history, but a lot of the history is disappearing in our chat rooms when they're converted from the old rooms, the legacy moderated P2P rooms, to the cloud rooms. So um, I'm going to vote for this. Uh, watch the number go up. Now, there's a hesitation. I just clicked. And watch the number go from 21 to 22. There you go. Now, for some reason, you get confused which one you're on, because I give a whole list. Um, if I click it again, the number will go down. Watch that the number goes up, please. So I'm going to click it again if the number goes down. There we go. And there's a pause. There's a hesitation there. It's not immediate. Anyway, OK, so let's go back. And I want to show you that if you click vote for um, the idea, the one idea I'm sending you, we're going to click that title, Group Moderation, and I explain a little bit about each one, why it's important. If you guys are read this and you think it's important, you can add a comment and it will add to the status. It will in increase the status and get it moved up to implemented. If you know yourself of reasons why that's important to you, please add it to the comments as well as voting. So in this one, I'm adding three reasons why uh, guidelines are really helpful. Um, static while the rest of the chat moves. It stays put. Guidelines, you know, as people are adding chats, it's moving up and up and up, right? 
Um, you add a chat and it just moves up. Just keeps moving up. So it's moving. Um, the guidelines stay put. I don't want to go over the details of all of these, but uh, it's where you can put your rules, your standards, to help develop the culture of your Skype group chat. Um, it's also a great place for resources links like the topic, uh, like the information and links to videos, trainings, scheduled meetings, downloads, Google Docs. It's unlimited. The resources, like that's why I call it hidden treasure. Anyway, look at the description of each of these. And here's a very good question I got the other day. When you click the green, the green thumb, which I made green thumb and green for you there. When you click, the, when you check that, have you voted for all Skype room moderation ideas to come back? No, you've only voted for this one, which is guidelines. Okay. What I did at a community manager's suggestion was uh, in the first comment on the on the ones that I created, the Skype ideas I created, was I put more group moderation ideas, needing your votes to get. Microsoft to make to, to make active and implemented status. I listed them for you. Okay? I listed them. So what you would need to do is find number one, find the link. I recommend you right click and open in a new tab. Uh, and just keep doing that until you get through all of these. Right click, open it up in a new tab. Just go through each of these right click open in a new tab and that way you've got them all open in your browser in a new tab you can go through them and vote for each of them with the green thumb so that you vote for all of them please the first two say click here to vote click here to vote this is click here to read and vote <laughs> so I changed the wording on the link I wasn't consistent click here to vote for this moderation feature that confused people. I'm sorry I wasn't consistent. Just write, find each one. This was to four. Find each one. Open in a new tab. Number five, unfortunately, I put two links. You only need to open one if the only thing you want to do is vote. If you want to read what I say here and uh, why I gave you two pages, this is an older one. This one was not created by me. This one is active status. Um, you only have to click one if you just want to vote. If you want to look, read what I'm saying here, you can open up page two and three. And this one's important. We need the creator role back. Did you know in, in groups that you create, you are not a creator. You're just one of the admin. So let's so call it the moderators or master role were um, the people that were helping us with the room, moderating, right? Uh, the creator role was able to assign those. Now you can assign an admin, and an admin can make anyone else an admin, which gives more power to them. But the creator role had more power, and we want the creator role back. So right-click, open in a new tab. Even though it doesn't say click here to join, that's the link for number six. This number seven is interesting. You can right-click, open in a new tab. There we go. And I didn't actually put a link on eight yet. Log picture and topic so people in the room, users in the room, can't change the picture and topic. So if I make that a, uh, a new idea, I will add it to the comments. I will create a new idea. And I, I can't edit these, unfortunately. Um, after a comment is a certain age, there's no edit. And the same with the idea. Um, under options here, if you can see that. Um, it usually says edit for a little while, but you can't edit after some time goes by. So anything new I add, um, new links, like possibly number eight, um, would be further down in the comments. Like here, I couldn't edit my comments, so I added please, I meant resource. And you'll see in some of the other ones down in the comments, uh, I do, in the comments on the other ones, create this first post, but this is the best one because as I created them, I found mistakes and broken links. Um, those corrections will be in the comments, but the best first comment uh, with the list of all the other Skype room moderation um, ideas and features that need your votes 
are the best one is the most complete list is this one so far <laughs> the one for guidelines I appreciate your vote um, Skype is implementing some of these ideas please vote and uh, find the link um, below the video I'll put this link below the video thanks again for watching